makes sense. I feel like no one's saying Tina right now. I just want to say it matters not what you've done, but what you do with what you've done for others. Thank you. I don't want to break you. I just want the paper, the visa, the visa. I'm out my mind. The one you call on is the macho, the head macho. Slip this like the macho. I got so much now. Hey guys, so I am getting ready right now. As you can tell, obviously my hair looks crazy. Um, but I am going to get ready for my birthday. So today is my 23rd birthday and I just wanted to film a get ready with me just so you guys can see how my makeup turns out. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm just thinking very smoky-ish and very neutral. I'm not gonna be going too um, in detail of like what I'm doing because I feel like you guys kind of know, you guys can like look back at my old videos and see um, it's pretty much the same routine and the same products. So yeah, nothing new there. So today I don't know what's going on but my siblings are planning something I guess. Maybe something little but I'm really excited. Actually, I wasn't excited because I was like very stressed like these past two weeks with personal things and I was like the last thing I thought about was like my birthday and everybody kept reminding me, oh your birthday's coming up, I'm just like, so, <laughs> but I think I want to start doing these types of videos um, on my birthday at least starting starting this year see i'm 23 i feel pretty old i think once i hit 25 no offense to people that are 25 and over i feel like once i turn 25 then i'll feel like really old um but yeah i really wanted to um my goal really was to travel but like you know the with like COVID and everything and everything here, like that's like the last thing I should be doing is traveling. But in life in general, I do want to travel. Um, I want to get my own place and travel. I That's just what I want to do and then finish up school. I feel like when I went to Italy in 2019, it was like, it was just like, oh, I don't know how to explain it, but that was my first time being out of California and it was just so beautiful. Like the culture and people, it's just so different because um, when you're just like, kind of like a city girl in a way and going into Italy, it's going kind of more in like country, country-esque vibes. <laughs> I don't know if I'm making any sense. It is a blessing to make it to 23. I'm blessed with another year. I really want to, I'm gonna, I'm gonna manifest right now, okay. Finish my degree. And I really do want to focus on more content creating because I love it. Um, I'm not always up for like filming YouTube, um, but for the most part, I, I love, I love doing this and I can see it as, as a job, hopefully in the future. So when it comes to like me going out or um, like really like events kind of, I always go to things that are gonna last long throughout the night and it looks really good in photos. If I do take any photos, this is the Merit uh, Minimalist stick. Oh my gosh, it is so so I love this thing. If I wasn't wearing foundation today, this is pretty much what I'd be wearing. If you guys haven't watched my last tutorial or I think it was my last tutorial with no foundation, it's the same kind of um, routine, but using this, oh my gosh, that's like my go-to. So I'm gonna leave it there and let it set. And the color is beautiful. I'm using my front camera. Oh, and I'm in the bathroom right now because I didn't feel like cleaning up the desk. 
using Oma Beauty Concealer. I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna put like a dab of the Beauty Blender Concealer. Concealer. Yeah, 23. I feel like I have accomplished enough <laughs> in my 23 years. I know my uncle did like a birthday pose and he was talking about, you know, um, it was like the sweetest thing. He was talking about how much I've achieved and like put my mind to it. And I don't realize it until you like, until people actually say that. Like to me, I haven't done enough. Um, and that sounds really bad, um, but I feel like I haven't um, got to where I want to be and everyone's on you know their own journey and it's not a competition or a race it's more so just finding like what you want to do in the moment hopefully I'm making sense I feel like no one's thinking right now I just want to say it matters not what you've done but what you do with what you've done for others Thank you. Talking and doing your makeup at the same time is a sport, okay? Yeah, like I was saying, um, I didn't even figure out I wanted to do nursing until I was like 20. Like when I left Sephora, um, I was like, what do I do now? Cause I was there since I was 16. I was at Sephora since I was 16 and Sephora was all I knew. Sephora was my life. It is still my life. Like, I would love to go back and work there. Like, to me, Sephora is like home. So, when I left, um, for personal reasons, I was like, what the hell do I want to do now? And so I was like looking into it and I was like, okay, I want to go to school. Because I didn't want to go to, I, college was like the last thing I wanted to get myself into. Um, when I was at Sephora because I was uh, I was full-time there and I was like I don't know what I, I don't I didn't know what I wanted to do yet and I don't want to go to school and not know what I wanted to do then I feel like it's a waste of time and it's a waste of money and like forcing myself to do it so probably like four months into um, or four months pretty much having no job I was like, you know what, I want to do nursing and I decided to look for jobs and um, knew that nursing was going to be a lot and I'm not in a rush to go into nursing. I'm going to be done with my social, socials, what? Associates degree, I think by this fall or next year, it really depends because with COVID, dude, I don't, oh my gosh, I can't, I don't know if people can relate right now, but it is hard doing um, microbiology, physiology, like at home because of the labs and everything. I'd rather do it in person. Like I love science and I love, I love, I really do love college. Um, I feel like that's, that was like the best decision I've made. Not because to get my degree, but because I loved the whole aspect of it like going to school and meeting new people oh my gosh my nose is like running and meeting new people and um it was always different each semester because you have different classes and stuff. but i always tell my sisters i was like college is like you'll you're gonna love it because i feel like high school wasn't it i i, I don't know i loved um high school for the you know being social part but as far as like materials and shit, like I just, it wasn't it for me. Um, but yeah, I didn't, when I left Sephora, I went um, and started, I didn't know where the hell, I didn't have no resources. I was like, I just had a laptop and I just kept looking like, how the hell do you get into college? I didn't know. I didn't know how to, you know, enter. So I um, took like all the tests and everything and then met with a counselor and boom. And I'm on my journey to doing nursing. And the reason why I wanted to do nursing is because I realized that makeup is a passion for sure. Um, and I feel like it's always gonna be, you know, a, 
part of me. But I feel like with Sephora, I was, you know, helping people with their makeup routine and their self-confidence and making them feel beautiful. And um, don't get me wrong, I love that. And that's genuinely um, what I loved about being Sephora. But with nursing, I feel like that is more of a skill. It's more of a skill that you can apply anywhere. And I'm not even in it for the salary. I don't really care about the stereotypes of, you know, Filipinos being nurses. And, I don't know. I, I really don't care. It's more so if they had a chance I can help a person save their life or in any type of way, I would love to have that skill set. Or like if my family's having trouble or myself, you know, I, I would be able to, I would know. And I feel like that's my purpose is I just want to be around people. I don't think I can sit at a desk or, you know, I want to be physically there like with people like hands on. If someone is dying in like the middle of the street, I would know what to do. <laughs> or like, you know, if my family, knock on wood, is going through some things. You know, I wouldn't know how to help them or like, yeah. And you know what, the, another thing too, I got into um, 911 when I was staying with my dad for like a week. Yeah, no, no, not any week, like a few days. And we literally binge watched 911. And that just like took it to a whole other level of like respect I have for people that are in the medical field. Um, or like firefighters or like, you know, cops. Mm, I don't know about cops. It's a little iffy right now. But firefighters and healthcare workers, you know, they be doing it out there saving lives. And that's something I would want to be a part of. I don't know about the firefighter, but nursing, nursing, you know. I don't see myself getting a license in cosmetology just because I like makeup because do you see my hair right now? Like, majority of the things, like, I don't, I'm not, I mean, I might, like, be wrong, but most of the things they do is kind of, like, hair stuff, and I don't really like doing hair. And I'm, like, more self-taught with makeup, so I don't think taking classes would help me in any way, because I'm not trying to be a makeup artist. I just like doing makeup. I feel like I'm rambling on, and I'm taking forever now. Yeah, that's my ramble on what I want to do. I wish I can do, I'm not going to say I wish. I want to do influencing for sure. I feel like even though I'm behind the camera and I'm talking to you guys at home, I like it. I love talking to you guys about what's the newest products, how to do your foundation, how to do your concealer. I love it. Was at home. Let me just powder really quick. And it makes me feel so good when you guys let me know, like, do you help me out in some type of way? As long as I'm helping out one person, that is good enough for me. I feel like we all think, okay, everybody knows how to do their makeup. And I felt like I was like that too. I was like, okay, everybody knows how to do their makeup, so I don't really want to do too much makeup tutorials. But there's genuinely people out there that, you know, are still struggling. And if I can help, you know, boost someone's confidence in the world, then it's, then my job is done. It was like so cute. So when the clock hit 12, I was, we were at my dad's house. And it was really nice to be with cousins right when the clock hit 12 to be with my siblings my grandparents my uncle my dad just to be surrounded by family i feel like in the end that's what really matters because of everything that's been going on i feel like i was being like selfish wanting to go away because i wanted to travel but right now it's just not the time i feel like hopefully in the future really soon i'll be able to do that but God was like, you know what? Right here is what is important. Update on the Skims. I'm wearing the Skims t-shirt that was in my last video. 
I love the material and girl, for the price, I'm gonna keep wearing it. I'm gonna wear it like multiple times a week and it literally goes with anything. Like I can dress it up, I can dress it down. And I think that's why I would rather invest in like basics because I can wear it multiple times and wear it in the house or you know dress it up if I have to go somewhere not that anybody's really going anywhere I just want to be able to look back at this video and be like damn you thought you were old now wait till your 24th birthday or your 25th birthday but yeah what are my goals what I hope that within you know the next year or two i'll be done with school i'll be going into nursing or a nursing program i hope that soon i'll be able to get my own place i'm gonna miss my sibling my ultimate goal is really to get my own place not that there's anything wrong with being here like i love living with my family and my siblings it's just more of a me thing like that's always what i wanted like that's the ultimate goal like people talk about you know i want to be married within like within the next year and all that and i talked to my boyfriend about it you know he wants to get married soon i'm more so like can we get our own place first hopefully he's not watching that um but yeah, I, I don't know, marriage and like starting a family was always, it sucks, but um, not really sucks. This is just generally how I feel. It was always like kind of my last priority. Like I really wanted to travel, wanted to get my own place. Like I really wanted to enjoy being independent. It's helping like talking to you like this, I'm like, saying some deep stuff while I'm blending out my under eye yeah I don't think I could do it um maybe in the future for sure like if it happens it happens but I'm not that's like not in my plan and not really my goal right now and I feel like a lot of people on um, my age have kids and you know have a family and have their degrees already and I'm just like dude I'm, I'm just starting I am just starting and I'm not in a rush at all, honey. Not in a rush at all. Okay, I need to do my eyeliner up close, sorry. I really wanna drink wine. I wanna get into wine. I don't drink and everybody knows that. Everybody who knows me knows that I don't drink. My favorite views, I feel like it's gross. I don't feel good. It doesn't make me feel good. I've never smoked weed. And everybody's like, well, you know what? Like. You only live once and everything. I'm like, I think I can, you know, I'll be fine without it. I mean, I'll drink if it's like, like if it's a wedding or, or like a bigger party and things are happening, but I can't drink at home. Like, or just, yeah, or if we're out, I don't mind drinking. I don't mind drinking at a restaurant. Like, I don't like drinking at home because it's, I'm in my head too much. Like I start getting hella, Paranoid, I start overthinking it. Like I, I don't do drinking at a house. That makes sense. Or at my house specifically. Cause I just like, it's just too much for me. Supposedly I'm like a very violent, I become very violent when I drink, but I don't think so. I do like, you know? I will be right back. I'm gonna put some lashes on and my lips. And I have to like, talk to um my family real quick because of my mom and everybody's like texting me so i will see you guys in a little bit but yeah that's pretty much it guys i took out my rollers and put in some lashes and lipstick hopefully it's not maintained but yeah i'm just wearing this top kind of goes like this you guys can see my hair is so short but yeah anyways i hope you guys liked today's video happy birthday to me and a little message to me in the future um what would i say to my future self keep going it's your own fucking race it's you against you pretty much ain't no competition 
um i hope you did big things you achieved what you wanted to achieve within the year and yeah i hope you had a great birthday <laughs> i feel so dumb talking to myself for a while everything i'm talking about in today's video is all things that i'm going through right now my perspective on life and that might change in the future but that is just how i feel and this is me documenting everything and who knows what might happen in the future and hopefully my hair is a lot um longer i'm like hella hunchback <laughs> thank you guys in advance for all the birthday greetings i love you guys thank you to my family for making this super special i only have one wish this year and i'm sure everybody knows what wish that is um and hopefully it comes true very very soon i love you guys and thank you so much in advance and to my future self just keep fucking going you got this and shout out to my pisces we're the best we're the most sensitive but we're the best you know yeah anything else that i have to say Mm, I will see you guys in my next video and hopefully next year 24 will be a different perspective on life or maybe it might be the same who knows I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one